we spend as much time as we possibly can postponing a particular set of solutions and really immerse ourselves in the kind of question at hand. So in the for the La Brea project, it had to do with climate change, with the Pleistocene, with this very surreal idea of the La Brea tar pits in the middle of one of the sort of most active parts of the city, Wilshire Boulevard, in LA, which is, you know, a city all about the future. So we were really trying to kind of talk about the fantasy of the future and the lessons of the past. Um, and, you know, talk to artists, talk to scientists, talk to paleontologists, and really tried to postpone decisions. And then we started to make lots of models and we used, you know, digital models, analog models. And we made a lot of bad, <laughs> bad <laughs> models, bad designs. And then this whole idea of a of a triple loop that would stitch both the site and the new building and the existing building together kind of emerged as the most important sort of um, figure. Um, it became the kind of DNA of the project, not only physically because it kind of made a very generous set of loops, but also metaphorically because it tied in research that was being done on the site with how information is conveyed in a museum. So that was a case of, getting back to your question, of a small group of us um, working intensely for you know a month and a half. Um, and fortunately, we won. So now we're kind of going through a more uh, slower methodical project hmm. um, with them and more methodical process. Hmm. On, a, on a project where we respond to, let's say, a request for qualifications or were invited to interview along with four other architects, we always try to put a few ideas out in the context of the interview, not only to sort of explain how we work, but also to gauge uh, and enter into a conversation with a potential client. Um, and if we do get the project, it's usually because they like the sort of iterative process that we've revealed in our interview. So they're comfortable with that. And then, you know, we do start a very iterative process where we test ideas out, even if they're very embryonic, um, to kind of get a conversation going. Mm -hmm. And we try to postpone a very specific conclusion until, you know, um, we really feel like the, the, the sort of 10, 15 different options, which then get down narrow down to three and then the two there's a sort of until we've had to explore it at a darwinian level almost do we feel kind of comfortable and at that point you know the process might be pretty long there are you know structural engineers consultants who weigh in and you know usually we have i think had a history of of reviewing a particular design with a client so they feel like it's it's their process too. And I think we try to engage uh, potential clients in our process as much as we can. With a competition, you're kind of free to be mm -hmm. completely focused. And then, of course, you know, you send drawings in or present them one at one moment. But on other projects, we try to be much more iterative. And then, uh, of course, we start with a small team and that small team stays on a project all the way through. And then grows as as needed that's interesting there's a couple ideas in there that i really like the first was um this notion of postponing decisions um which is i think is interesting and i think it makes sense and, and I, you mentioned also that related to that is um the focusing more on the questions and postponing answers not jumping to the answers uh, but mm -hmm. it's funny because this the idea of postponing decisions seems like antithetical to making progress in a way yeah <laughs> well there's a terrifying moment of course where you postpone and postpone um and then, then you have to sort of jump in and sometimes you kind of go oh shit we gotta we gotta <laughs> you know um take these three models and figure out you know which is the best and and you've got to do it this weekend and that's when uh both uh fantastic things usually happen and um, and you're both terrified and exhilarated at the same time.